Hello everyone, Kevin Jaffe, Chief Operating Officer here at Mopeka, back again with another installation video for you. Today, we're out here at our friends Longhorn Propane, showing them the new Mopeka Transport Solution. You may be asking yourself, why do you need the Mopeka Transport Solution? Well, we're all well aware that within the industry, whether it be bobtails or long haulers, that there are certain limitations with traditional floats and gauges. In the past, a traditional float and gauge has an inaccuracy between 5 and 10%. Therefore, what we've historically been doing is short filling our vehicles. Now, with the Mopeka Transport Solution, we can take that inaccuracy down to plus or minus 1%. Therefore, maximizing your load on whatever vehicle you're using it on without violating DOT regulations and therefore also tracking every single last drop coming out of that vehicle throughout the day. So let's go through some of the components that are included in the Mopeka Transport Solution. Within your solution, you're gonna get your Mopeka Transport Sensor, along with two AAA lithium ion batteries. In addition, you're gonna get your dielectric grease for the sensor mounting, along with three zip ties for optional antenna mounting. In addition, you're also gonna get five wire mounts to be able to control the wire for the antenna. You're also going to get your Mopeka magnetic antenna that comes in various sizes. In addition, you're going to get your instruction card that's going to show you how to get the Mopeka Transport app either from the Google Play Store or the Apple iStore, as well as your Mopeka mounting instructions for the transport solution. In addition, if you had given Mopeka your strapping chart in advance, you will get a QR code sticker That'll be used for mounting on the trailer or on the bobtail. If you did not provide that before purchasing your kit, please reach out to Mopeka. In addition, you're going to get your two-piece trailer sensor mount. It'll be the outer tray as well as a wave spring for the inner sensor. And of course, your JB welder and application tip. In addition to the components that we just reviewed, you're going to need a couple extra tools to be successful for the installation. The first thing you're going to need is your smartphone or smart device with the Mopeka Transport app downloaded on it. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. And in addition, you're either going to need a 2.5 metric drill bit, tool bit, or you're going to need a 2.5 metric key. So the first step in our installation here is getting our sensor ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Phillips head screwdriver. I'm going to take out the screws here on the lid, giving me access to the battery compartment. As you can see inside, like all the Mopeka sensors, they run on AAA lithium ion batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery in. I'm gonna be greeted with a couple beeps. That means the sensor's on and active. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my cover and my screws while being careful. And I'm gonna screw these back in here nice and tight, making sure I have a good seal. Next, we're gonna end up grabbing our phone and we're gonna start doing the installation. So now that we've got the batteries in our sensor, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our smartphone and our sensor, and we're going to go to our Mopeka Transport app. Once you open it up, you'll be greeted with a blank screen that there is no trailers that have been added. So we're going to go ahead and hit Add Trailers. Now I'm going to give this name, this trailer a name. We're going to call this 007. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the green button on the Mopeka Transport sensor. And therefore, our app found it. So now we're going to give this device a name. This happens to be truck number 170. The MAC address is already pre-filled in there from when the sensor activated on the transport app. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to move down to select liquid. And we're going to drop that down to propane. Now, the entered the density and confirmed density, this is important because sometimes when you're picking up a load, it may not be 4.5. 135. So you've got to go ahead and put in and confirm the density here as well. So for today, the density it happens to be 4.2, and I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that QR code that we talked about before, that if you don't have it yet, make sure you reach out to Mopeka to get your QR code for the strapping chart for this trailer. Now we happen to have ours here today, so I'm going to go ahead and hit scan trailer QR code. It's going to bring up your phone you're going to scan it and as quick as it scans it it will disappear do not worry about it now once we've scanned it it says that trailer has been selected 2849 which is the number that we assigned to the qr code then we're going to move down and we're going to put in the overall target weight of the trailer and we're, today we're going to say 18,000. 
I'm going to go ahead and hit add. Now our sensor is there and ready to go before we move to the next step, which is the soft installation on the trailer. So now that we've entered the sensor into the Mopeka transport app, we're going to go ahead and do a soft installation to make sure we can find the right spot on the truck. So I've already taken my sensor here. I've already added the dielectric grease that came with the kit. I have my Mopeka transport app open here and I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> click on it. I'm going to hit add trailer. And that immediately gives me the leveler and the quality reader. Now, this vehicle happens to be completely empty, so our quality be low. But in the next section, we'll see that quality number go up as we're loading in and loading off the trailer. So now I've got my sensor ready to go. I got my Wapika app open with the leveler and the quality screen. And I'm under here at the truck, and I'm looking for a nice, clean spot to do it. We'd like to do it toward the middle of the truck if we can. And this is a great spot between the drive chaff and the valves. So this is a nice open spot to work with. What I'm going to do with my sensor, I'm going to make sure that the antenna side is in line with the bottom of the tank facing forward. And I'm going to go ahead and put it up here while using my app to turn around and get this thing level. So the next step here, now that we have the soft installation and we know where we want to do it, we want to turn around and prep it for the more permanent mount. So you're going to take your frame here um, and a Sharpie pen or a piece of tape or whatever you want to do. And we're going to take this and we're going to put it right up onto the tank without moving the sensor. The magnets will hold it there so you can see what's, what's happening. I've removed the bottom of the uh, bracket and I'm going to go ahead and just mark this out. Now that it's marked out, I can now take the bracket off and the sensor off and prepare this now for permanent mounting. So now that we've got our sonar sensor installed on the transport, um, you're going to want to give it about 10 minutes for the JB uh, Weld plastic bonder to adhere and harden. And once you're done, then at that point, we're ready to run the antenna. Now, we're not going to do this today, but you're going to unwind this. And using the included kips, clips in the package, you're going to run the wiring down the side of the trailer with the wiring, bringing the antenna to the front of the bobtail or the long hauler. So now we're going to go ahead and start pumping into this trailer. I've opened up my Mopeka transport app, and I've clicked on the actual transport 170. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to so, go ahead and say fill or unload. We're going to fill this tank. And now it's going to start reading as the tank is being filled. So you can see we have already started loading in there. We have our targeted gallons based on the density of the propane and the weight of the trailer. How many gallons are currently in there and the percentage as it's going up. <laughs> 